my name is Dr. Stuart Goldhagen and I run the Science Centre Solutions and Science Nomad uh, consulting activities. I've been working in Australia supporting science centres and helping science centres to develop and uh, become established for about 37 years. And since then I've been working through Asia supporting schools, universities that are training teachers uh, and science centres and museums to find more powerful ways to communicate science using the simplest of materials. Uh, during the week that I've had uh, the opportunity to, to work here at the Mount Sarkham uh, International School, we've done all sorts of fundamental, hands-on science and mathematics uh, act activities. We've done activities from the preschool right way through to the, to the top, top ages, the top levels. The sorts of activities we've been doing have all focused on areas of science, but for, for me the, the most important thing we've been focusing on is getting students curious, uh, excited and engaged with science, and also supporting and strengthening their, their persistence, their curiosity, and their, their interest to explore, explore science. So we've done a lot of activities with colour, um, making artwork using scientific principles, food colouring and dye. We've looked at surface tension in water. We've done activities to do with logic and sorting We've had the students making machines and working out how to debug, prototype and fix um, problems with simple machinery. And so we've done making activities, inquiry activities, group activities and single activities. So the school, the school has been uh, wonderfully supportive helping, helping all of that to happen. During the week that I've had here at the International School, I've been very impressed with the, the curiosity and the energy, the enthusiasm of the students. Hopefully, the activities that I've shown them, the kind of provocations to get them thinking about things will, will persist and that the students will continue to think deeply uh, about things, not just look for answers, but look for understanding. Because I, I believe that if the students here take up that approach to learning, to actually think about things deeply and to, to seek understanding, not just of facts, but of actual real deep understandings. The students here will be able to go on and achieve fantastic things in the future. The future is going to be very different. We can't really tell what the future is going to have. And so the minds of the students here are going to need to change and adapt and react to a very different world. And so hopefully the, the activities we've done here to, to get them thinking will stand them in good stead. And I believe that the students here will be able to go on if they work hard and achieve fantastic things. And finally, I'd like to thank the, the staff uh, of the school here for making the space available and arranging for the scheduling. I'd like to thank the Parents and Teachers Association for putting together the resources, the funding to help bring it here. And I'd also specifically like to, to thank Catherine Pascoe for coordinating and managing all of the, the back of house arrangements for visas and those things to actually get me here. The hospitality that's been shown by everyone here has been uh, absolutely incredible and it's been a fantastic visit uh, and I look forward to the chance to come back and continue this again. Mm -hmm.